What's up everyone, Tom here from toolswithtom.com. Today what I want to take you through is using the COUNTIF function, a really useful function for running a quick count on a number of Excel cells and data so that you're able to make sense of essentially, you know, what are the most popular values in, in cells and then be able to make some great assumptions for your marketing moving forward. So what I have here as an example is some mock data of 1,000 in total 1,000 in total rows of data of net first name, last name, the gender, and the email address in addition to an a customer ID. So this is a, a common example of what you might get. Maybe you get an export of all of your data from you know one of your email marketing providing tools or your CRM or from your developers, and you want to work out and find some commonalities. And maybe the first thing that you might want to work out, this is just an example, is, okay, what's the balance of males and females in my list of data? And so the count if function allows you to essentially, based on a criteria, find out how many entries in your data match that criteria. So if we've got, and we want to work out the difference between the male and females in terms of how frequent both of them are in this list, First thing that I'm going to do is just add a new row, which is where I'm going to count this. So I'm going to do, sorry, a new column where I'm going to count this. So I'm just going to call this one count. And then I'm going to put in here female and male as my two entries. And so what I want to just do is run a super quick count. There's a ton of other ways you can do this as well through pivot tables. If you look at some of my later videos, but what we can do in this one is just run it very simply within the context of our existing sheet. So how we do this is we need to first write in equals count if is the name of our function. I'm going to open up my parenthesis. And the first thing it's going to ask us for is a range. And so the range that we're looking for is going to be what the function is essentially going to be looking for to match up to the criteria you've provided. And so, of course, that's going to be our column D because that's the one that has all of the data on whether the user is a male or a female. Might just Okay, so I've just selected column D and you can see it's, it's put that in as part of my range. That's now the range it's going to look up. And so every time I provide some criteria, it's going to look it up against column D. So what we're going to do next is we're going to put in what our criteria is going to be. Now, you can actually add in free text by using quotation marks if you don't have the values in cells. But let's just use the, the cells that we've just created before, which are female and male, to add in what our criteria is going to be. So I'm just going to select first cell here, G2 as my criteria. And so what this is going to be saying is, okay, find the number of instances of female in our column D. I then close my parenthesis and press enter. And as you can see there, it's found 485 instances of female within my list. So let's just say we want to work out the males as well. I don't have to go through and do the whole formula like that again. All I have to do, as we should know, is in the bottom right here, there's the little square. I just click that, drag that down. And because we set our formula to be relative and it's using cells and just essentially going down row by row, it's easy to just pre-populate those ones in. So you can see now that I've got my counts, I've got 485 females within my column D and 515 males in there as well. Another one you might want to try as an example is if we go back and let's just say with the data that we have here that we've separated these out um, and we maybe we want to work out how many of a certain name are in our list. So why don't we say let's find a couple of names in here that we like and say maybe we want to work out how many Jasons are in this list. All I need to do is pull that out and let's just remove this for now and we'll start again. I'm going to pick three names from here. I'm going to pick Jason. Let's pick Amanda and we'll also pick Michelle, our first one. So let's just say I want to work out how many times these names come up in my list of 1000. Again, same function. So equals count if. This time, however, because these are first names, 
we want to make sure that our range relates to that as well. So we're going to be using our column B, select all of column B, hit on my comma, and my criteria this time is going to be the first name, which I've done here in G2 of JSON. Close that off. And now I can say, okay, so in my whole list, there are seven instances of the name JSON. And then if I drag this down, I can see that there's six of Amanda and six of Michelle. So this is really useful for doing on things like uh, the domains that users maybe come on an email address so you can work out how many people come from the same companies. It can be really useful for things like the countries that users are from, uh, everything from yeah, the, the countries, the genders, any way of essentially you trying to make a little bit more sense of your data without having to do too much manipulation. This is a really simple way of getting a first up count. And guys, that's essentially it for today. If you have any questions on using the count if formula, let me know, tom at toolswithtom.com. Make sure you check out the rest of the series, marketing for Excel, Excel for marketing. <laughs> and make sure that you subscribe as well. And I will see you in the next video.